Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. So this month I'm going to be doing like a planner tip each day. And so that means I'm going to be putting out two videos a day, which is going to be a lot, but this one's actually going to be like very small, a small overview of like planner tips. So that way I can focus on each thing and not make like a huge video. And if you, you know, if you're interested in watching them, then I hope that you watch the whole thing and give it a like and comment. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Because again, I'm going to be putting out two videos this month. And one of them is going to feature a planner tip that I have for all of you. Things that I have found useful or just different techniques that I like to use or I don't know, it's going to be a variation of different things. Um, this month that I'm going to go over. So the first thing I wanted to do is go over in this video, one of my favorite planning tools that I use, I'm pretty sure in all of my plan with me videos. Uh, and I always get questions about it because I know there's still a lot of like planner newbie people that are joining the planner community. Um, and I always get questions about what I'm using to assist in helping me decorate a spread. So whenever I'm doing a decorative spread, I do like to use a lot of stickers and I like to kind of plan out what I'm going to do on this planner tool, which I find very, very effective. So that is some wax paper. Honestly, this is one of my favorite things to use to help me plan out a spread because I can collect the stickers onto this wax paper. You can kind of see um, the like how it's gonna look in a spread before you put stickers down. So I find this a very, very, very effective tool. So I purchased this at Target. It's in the aisle that has the like plastic bags, aluminum foil, um, that area of the store. You can find it at your grocery store and you know, yeah, any other stores you can find these. So this is the wax paper. I buy the Reynolds brand. I've only purchased the Reynolds brand to, to use. Um, it works very well. I never have any issues with it. It's pretty cheap. I think it was less than $2 for this box and it lasts a while. Because for me, what I do, it's actually a new roll I had to buy, a new roll. What I like to do is um, take a little section. I only work in like small sections of this. I usually cut this in half because I like to work with smaller pieces that I can use to like put stickers down. Again, you can pull out as much as you want, rip it, cut it, however you would like, keep it a full piece to cover up your whole planner. So you're gonna pull out some planner pages. So um, for me, I like using these smaller pieces so that way I can just, you know, pull out a sticker from my book, put it down on the wax paper, kind of collect them over here on the side before I decide I'm gonna use them. I kind of know I want to have those to use in my spread. I can kind of figure out like where I wanna put it because you can see through the wax paper, which is nice. So you can kind of like move things around a little bit. I also like to use these, the wax paper to layer boxes on top of each other. That has been pretty helpful to kind of map things out before I actually put it down on the spread. Another great thing about the wax paper is it does take some of the stickiness off of your stickers. If they're kind of, it also makes them a little bit repositionable, I feel. Um, when you've had it on the wax paper, it takes a little bit of the stickiness off. Either side of the wax paper works. I've never had an issue with like one side not working versus the other. So there's no issues in that because honestly, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between either side. They, they both seem the same. Um, so yes, wax paper, I love that. So you can use like a large piece if you want to, to uh, kind of map out your spread. And you can just lay things out. This, I used to do this when I first started planning. I used to get a whole piece of wax paper and this is before I did plan with these too. Um, and then kind of like tape it down so that way I could like really plan out my spread and figure out where I'm gonna put everything before I actually put it down because I'm such a like perfectionist, <laughs> especially at the beginning. I was always scared to put stickers down. So this was a really nice tool to have to be able to move things around, see if maybe this works better over here. I can kind of move this around. 
um, see if maybe I want to layer this on top of here like that. And then once I'm ready to put it down, just take it off and then put it down onto the spread and you're good to go. So wax paper, I usually will use this, uh, the piece that I pull a few times before, like you can kind of tell when the wax paper is not as nice to use. So this one I've been using a little bit. I've used it a couple of times um, and it's starting to get like the wax is starting to come off a little bit from this, you know, the stickers being put on and taken off. So yeah, I think maybe I can use this one one more time. So I think three times out of this piece before I'm gonna toss it. Another thing is I, I do like putting the stickers on here when I am planning out my spread, but I don't want to keep the stickers on this wax paper too long. I feel like if you leave it on for maybe a day, it's fine. Um, if you want to put your stickers back the next day, but definitely don't leave it on for like a week or think that you can collect stickers on here and like, you know, organize them this way because eventually they will stick to this wax paper and it kind of messes up the stickers. You won't be able to use them. So for me, what I do is I usually will put these back into the book, like these that I pulled. Um, I will try to find a page. I think in here, I don't have any, but you know, I'll try to put them back if I didn't use them, I'll try to put them back into the book. Yeah, so that way I can use them again in another spread. So that way I'm not ruining them. If you do put them back in the book, they do, um, they're not lifting up or anything. So they're still sticky and it'll be good to be able to use in another spread. So yeah. Wax paper, love using wax paper. Highly recommend getting some, adding that to your planner tools if you like to decorative plan. Um, this has been super helpful to use. Like I said, I always get tons of questions about like what I'm using. I think somebody had commented or I saw a comment maybe on a Facebook post that somebody tried using parchment paper, which that's something completely different. That's not gonna be see-through. That's a more like it's not solid, but you definitely can't see through parchment paper and you definitely can't remove the stickers off of there. That's gonna be too difficult to do, remove the stickers. So don't get parchment paper. That's not gonna work. I think it kind of looks similar though. Maybe that's why people confuse it with wax paper. Make sure it says wax paper on here because that's what allows it to, you know, take the... So for me, before I started planning, I had wax paper in my kitchen because I liked making Rice Krispie treats a lot. And wax paper is the only thing that I could use to help me like push down the the sticky, like marshmallowy crisp, Rice Krispies down into a pan without it like sticking everywhere. So this stuff is perfect for like sticky stuff. Um, but anything else is just going to be it's not going to work for your stickers. The, now the Happy Planner did come out with like some dashboards or like reusable uh, planner like inserts that you're able to do kind of like the same concept, but I did not like those. The sticky or the part that, that you're supposed to stick the stickers onto started coming off and then it made it like not not removable. So I don't recommend buying those. They're cool concept, but they haven't like really figured it out. I, I prefer getting the wax paper um, and using this in a spread. And like I said, you can use it a few times before you have to like toss it. So yeah, I feel like I can get a lot of use out of like this one roll. I'll try to remember to like mark this, see when I started using it and see when I have to buy a new one. So that way I know how long one roll is actually lasting me because I do use a ton of this because I make so many plan with me's. So you probably won't as use as much as I do since I do so many different things. Um, even planner spreads, not for myself. So yeah, wax paper, highly recommend getting some of this for yourself. I'll have this link down in the description and like an Amazon shop. Um, and hopefully you add this to your collection. Hopefully, and if you already use this then you already know like how awesome wax paper is to use to help decorate your spread. So that's my first planner tip. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, hope that you will join to see the other tips that I come up with this month. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and 
hit that like button if you like this video. Send, put me down a comment down in the description, any other planner tools that you like using. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.